Hey guys, Justin from Simplified Messy. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. As we do every week, these are going to be the five stocks we are watching this week. First one being Tesla, second one PDD, third one XPEV, fourth one Netflix, and then the last one Meta. Hope you guys have a great week and enjoy the video. So getting things started, the first thing that I always do is going to be breaking down the market. What have we seen from the market and then what can we expect to see within the coming weeks? Proxy I'm going to be doing or using as I always use is going to be SPY and let's do it from a top down perspective here of the weekly and then into the daily. You can see we're rejecting this downtrending line here. You can see we tested it back here on 328, tested the week here of 815, reject, reject, bounce and reject it again, met with some selling pressure here. One thing I want to note is this is going to be a heavily economic driven market this week with CPI on Tuesday and FOMC on Wednesday. That is going to be the main driver here behind the movement this week. Technicals mean nothing. It really all depends on the FOMC and then the CPI data that comes out on Tuesday. So macro downtrend on the weekly here, forming a new low below this weekly candle, indicating that bearish strength that we do have here. Would not surprise me to see this 390 region. If we do pull back into 390 anytime this week, watching a 390 bounce play to take on this move here. But overall, macro weakness here. If we do reject, can test down into this 380 sub 376 region here. Again, like I mentioned, you can expect a lot of volatility this week with FOMC and CPI data as well. Coming off this daily chart here, we get this gap up through 390 here on 11.10 and basically a month of sideways movement here rejects this downtrend line here on what day was this here? Let's see. On 12.1, December 1st rejects here, moving down. Now we get this bearish pressure here on 12.6. Two attempted weaker bounces here and immediately rejects at that 397 region here. Macro support here at this 390 area for upside Ideally want to see this move through 400 psych level and reclaim into this level here. Uh, if we do hold 400 again, that reclaim up into that 408 region here to break out of this descending downtrending line here. Do think we can move up into that 414 region above here. But again, waiting on that CPI data and also FOMC for a better directional movement here on SPY. First play, Tesla. And really one that's trying to form a curling pattern here. And what can happen too, sometimes it's really a, a two-dimensional setup here, is if this curling pattern fails and we make a new low here below this 169.50 region, I need to take this short into those 52-week lows here. Or if we do hold above this 182 area, I need to take this long up into this 186 region here on this curling pattern move here. It's really a two-dimensional setup here, but trying to form a higher low bounce here. So you can see this low bounce here, trying to form a higher low here. We did have some relative strength on Friday on volume. Watching for a follow through above 182 for that 186 move on a higher low bounce potential here on Tesla this coming week. The second play in a sector that's shown quite a bit of strength here as of late is going to be PDD. A lot of sector strength within the Chinese names that we have been seeing here, whether this be XPEV, NEO, BABA, PDD, one of them happens to be one that's pushing to 52 week highs here. If we do zoom out to the weekly chart, again, you can see we're testing into this strong consolidation base where we traded prior. Making these 52 week highs here a strong gap up and push up here on this last week's weekly candle here. Follow through of this consolidation region here. Now really what I want to see here if we do zoom in here on the daily chart is a hold above this 90 50 region here. You can see we gapped up if we do uh, zoom in on a shorter time frame. We gapped up into 92 here after this overnight gap up on the Hong Kong session. Selling off here into macro weakness. So for that level to hold here, ideally want to hold this 90-50 region. Make those new 52-week highs here at 92. Attract those daily time frame buyers and push this up into that 93-31 region here this week. Strong trending move, looking to play it with trend on this one if we do hold 90.48 for that move over 92 to take into that 52-week high breakout here. The third play, similar sector move, not one that's obviously at 52-week highs here, has been beaten down a lot in the last year, but trying to form this power earnings gap here, power gap up, 
in a consolidation. Now we're flagging here for this upside move. I want to see strength over 12 here. I do think we can easily see 13 plus on this one this week. You can see we're in this flag move here, trying to find some directional movement, losing some volume, which is good in consolidation. Now we wait for buyers to step in over 12 for this directional movement up into this 1307 plus region. Above that would not surprise me to see a test up into this 1450 or 14 to 15 region here on a flag breakout on this daily time frame here. So again, one that's going to be on close watch, very low vol traded here on Friday. Obviously a strong selling pressure day here, but not on the high volume conviction that you'd like to see if you want to see that complete reversal here. So again, I this one through 12 this week to take to the upside with potential up into that 15 macro region above on this uh, particular equity. The next one, Netflix. It ended up filling this gap. We've had this one on our watch list pre uh, previously, and we kept mentioning this gap from this massive earnings down here. Well, we filled that almost to a T here. We hit it at that 328.83 region and immediately rejected here on Friday. What this is going to do here is this candle right here, obviously a rejection candle, everyone knows that. The shorts are going to pile in this like crazy. Oh, it filled that gap, reject, now we're entering short. Well, what happens if we rebid above this? A lot of shorts are trapped. As they get trapped, they cover, and it gives it fuel to the fire to move up into this 350 high here before this gap down here. The ideal setup on this is taking this long above 328.83 for that move up into this 350 area. That's personally what I'm waiting on. This is an obvious reject. Everyone's trapping or piling in their short position. If we do reclaim above this, shorts are trapped. They're going to be covering. As they cover, they have to buy back the position. It gives it fuel to that fire for that upside move into 350. So again, watching above that Friday's high at 328.83 to take this one long here up into that upside for that 348.82 move. The last one, one that also had relative strength here on Friday, is going to be Meta. Market down about 1% on the NASDAQ. Uh, we get Meta here. That was up about 0.49% on low volume, so nothing significant. But we're forming, or we're in this tight consolidation base here. I want to see a curling move above 118.76. I do think we can rebid this 125 region and above that into 128.51. So really... Following this movement here, we get the strong bull day on 11.30, a uh, nice higher high movement here. Pull back on some lower volume here and three inside bars here, trying to digest this move and make the next advancement to the upside. So watching this above 118.76 to take long up into that 125 region this week. That being said, that wraps up our five plays of the week. If you did enjoy this video, if you could please smash that like button, it would be greatly appreciated. If you are interested in getting our private course alerts and more, feel free to check out simplified-investing.com today. We would love to have you guys on board. Thank you so much and hope you all have a great weekend.